OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network Good morning, everyone, and uh, happy Friday. Um, my name is Leif Williams, um, and I'm here together with my DLAC team member, Susan Rausch. Next. So Susan and I are both ESL teachers. Um, we could, might say seasoned ESL teachers. I'm also the ESL uh, program coordinator, and um, Besides Susan and myself, we also have on our team our uh, MAE director, Susan Murphy, who has been um, very supportive of us uh, with our journey uh, with DLAC. Um, Martinez Adult Education is located in Martinez, California, um, about 20 or so miles as the crow flies from San Francisco. Um, Martinez Adult Education is a a small but mighty school. Uh, we have um, in 2019, 2020, we had a student enrollment of about 1300 students and um, 200 ESL students approximately. Um, we have besides ESL, we have ABE program, um, the high school diploma program and the CTE program. Go ahead. So speaking of CTE, our CTE coordinator, Bruno Sablon, is also part of our on-site uh, DLAC team. Um, he's one of our Canvas um, administrators at our school, and he's also teaching our IET, um, Intro to Financial Services Entrepreneurship class, um, co-teaching with, with Susan as our ESL instructor. Um, also, we have Amy Wallace, who is our ESL program assistant. And um, as I say there, she really is the glue that holds our department together. Um, she's a great support for both our students and also our ESL staff. So uh, about a month ago, we um, opened our school up to in-person classes and um, We also have, as you see on the right slide there, uh, have a food pantry. We've partnered with our local um, food bank and we've been supporting our students and families and community members since September um, with a, a drive-through um, food uh, pantry pickup. So in these slides um, on the left, you can see um, some an ESL class with some of our in-person students um, studying um, in the classroom. And we also on the left, right, excuse me, is our WIOA computer lab. And um, we've been fortunate to have uh, gotten permission from our local health officials and the school district to have opened up our um, testing uh, lab uh, since last fall. So we've had students come in to do their CASAS testing and we're also a high set test center. So we've had students um, taking the high set uh, as well with you know, the proper safety protocols. Next. So um, Many of our classes are on Zoom, but um, we are at, um, having our students come in one day a week for in-person classes. And some of the teachers are uh, experimenting um, with simultaneously um, having students um, on Zoom and in, in the class at the same time. So on the, on the right, you can see some of the technology that we have in our classrooms with the um, a wall display screen and the um, mobile webcam and uh, all connected to the teacher's desktop along with the docu camera. Um, so it's, we're piloting it, it's a work in progress, but uh, um, yeah, we're 
some teachers are doing very well with that. Go on, next. Um, so we survey our ESL students um, uh, every term just to check in with them to see how they're doing um, with their cl online classes and um, their Canvas LMS. So um, this uh, survey actually we just did this week. Um, so as you can see, the devices that our uh, students have, uh, a majority of them have laptops and some, you know, as we know, use their smartphones um, along with other devices. So that helps inform us about their technology at home. Next. And in this survey, we also want to find out um, their needs um, as far as their technology and tech skills. So um, as you can see in this survey, it's cut off, but uh, the one that has five students is about accessing and using uh, Canvas. And then no surprise number, the second one with nine uh, students, they need help with submitting their homework um, on, on Canvas. So um, those help us understand how we can best uh, support our, our students with um, technology um, help. Um, next. So um, this is our DLAC goal. Um, so we started with the, the title Blended ESL for All. So we're hoping by the, the end of this year um, that to have 75% of our ESL students enrolled in blended classes. And we believe that, um, you know, in tightly integrating um, the online um, LMS Canvas with um, the in-person, face-to-face, be it Zoom or in-person um, classes. And we believe that will help in their, with persistence and increasing their speaking and reading and writing skills, which will consequently um, increase their CASAS test scores and EL civics results. So go on, Susan, I think you're next. Okay, um, we want to say a great shout out and thanks to Destiny and the Ideal 101 course. Um, we have with um, with the help of the course stayed within our framework to develop our site plan and um, uh, stayed focused. Um, we've discovered various ways to um, to do new things and helpful tools and strategies, as well as we've been able to collaborate with other DLAC members to make this happen. Accomplishments so far, as Leif had mentioned earlier, Amy is our glue and she has um, gone to town in providing us great, wonderful tools for online um, registration and orientation. Um, both in Canvas and um, for our, you know, for Canvas and for Google. Um, she's made technology digital um, a skill survey, and I um, made a teacher share desk, which I'm going to show with you just briefly. Hi, real quickly, I want to show you um, the teacher share desk that we have created, or I have created for. Um, our teachers. So uh, basically it's just A through or announcements through Zoom and I'll just scroll through it so you can kind of see the different things that we have. I um, created this. I got the idea from Marin Anton who was um, in the previous DLAT cohort and uh, I work with her at Mount Diablo Adult Education. This is a place where I can put things and find them like a library, as well as, you know, easy retrieval. All the teachers in our ESL department are added as teachers, so they can add things to this as well as take things and put in their own class. So um, this is basically what, what we have done um, to keep our things in order and accessible online. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I interviewed a student of mine, and I'm not going to be able to show you the whole interview, but I wanted 
to um, show part of that. So, um, hi, this is Susan Roush, and I skip ahead to. I think we're going to uh, start right here. Tell, tell her to. I want to. I want to take this class, and they uh, gave me this class. Awesome. So, and yeah. how was learning the Canvas, our learning management system? Yeah, Canvas is, uh, it was difficult for me, but uh, now I uh, I uh, enjoyed a lot and uh, yeah, it was convenient for me. Convenient, okay. And speaking about convenience, um, in the future, uh, if you had a choice to go to class in the face-to-face -face learning in the classroom on campus or taking a class on Zoom. Um, in both cases, we would probably use the learning management system Canvas, but which would you prefer and why? Either to come to school or to um, learn on Zoom? Although I enjoyed face-to-face uh, -face a lot because I take, uh, take previous class with Miss Susan, but uh, uh, I uh, can't try you and I have a more responsibility at my home. I you I want to go for canvas mm -hmm. and for Zoom session. I enjoy the Zoom session a lot. OK, so that's very convenient for you because you can't drive, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. OK, well, I want to say thank you so much for letting me interview you. And um, we appreciate having you at our school. And thank you, uh, thank you, teachers, for uh, giving us uh, this opportunity. And thank you, uh, Martinez Adult Education Center, to support us like that. Hi, this is Susan Oops. Roush, and I'm from Martin. Okay, next slide. <clears throat> okay, so um, Payal in the previous part she had mentioned that she was in four of her classes so this is one of the class it's a basic computer skills for ESL learners it's actually taught by a CTE instructor and we've had this uh, year two sessions I believe of eight students each time on campus in addition um, this is uh, just a picture of the module that we have um, for the intro to the financial services and entrepreneurship course that Bruno and I are teaching. Payal is also in this course. Um, we have a natural collaboration. As I mentioned, I also work at Mount Diablo Adult Education and Marin, who is a previous DLACer, um, is working over there. So she has shared with us um, the community resources for Contra Costa County um, newsletters that she has created. And I have shared with her um, information that we have gleaned from our CERT Community Emergency Response Training um, Lunch and Learn series sessions that our communication skills class um, attended uh, this spring. Um, here are some links that we will share further about, you know, that you can get to to see more about what we've done. Um, and how have we used the DLAC virtual skill training sessions? Well, we want to say, first of all, thanks so much to Blair Roy for coaching us and helping us with team building and communication skills. And we also want to put a shout out to um, our director, Suzanne Murphy. Thank you for setting the culture for change and learning, knowing that um, especially this year, we are in a big, huge building <laughs> program in terms of rebuilding our um, the way we teach and we're making adjustments and trying new ideas as we pilot Canvas or um, are learning new teaching methods and we have great support in knowing that um, we are learning and we can always do better next time. So we appreciate that. Also, we want to have a shout out to Dr. Porter. Thank you for encouraging us um, and um, finding out what our strengths and our weaknesses are. So um, Susan, Leith, and Blair are all working together um, in, within our strengths that we've learned from um, Dr. Porter. 
We, like everybody else, have had challenges, and time is one of the big ones. Also, technology challenges. Most of the time when Leif and I are meeting with Blair, it's always, how do you do this, or how do we, you know, um, get over this challenge? And not only are we having challenges, but our students, and then us, of course, instructing our students in that piece. Because we've spent a lot of time on technology challenges, um, we have lost a lot of students and haven't been able to reach out to them because we're dealing with the technology issues. So that has been a challenge. Um, we have also um, spent a lot of time with our students encouraging them to return to school for testing and um, on face-to-face -face learning. We have made several changes in the past year. Transitioning um, at the first, we um, with the pandemic, most of our teachers went to um, Google Classroom. And then in June, we started with the um, Canvas LMS and implementing um, the classes and um, the remote testing. That's been a big, huge challenge that Amy has continually worked and improved upon. We have also purchased new technology for our classrooms and um, LEAF, I believe okay. you're on. So in um, our next steps, um, and as part of our action plan, um, we plan to develop a, you know, start small and develop a, a model of a um, blended ESL class and, and what it looks like. Um, we're also going to work on some teacher student, um, um, you know, uh, templates for an interview assessment for one on one to check in with the, our students and also a teacher student agreement of uh, the expectations of uh, being in the, blend, the blended class and also, of course, professional development for our uh, ESL staff with um, implementing a blended learning class. And of course, uh, developing an in-person student digital literacy training. And of course, all of us are trying to, you know, market to um, the community and recruit uh, students lost during the pandemic. Next, um, to help us understand what our students, uh, our teachers, excuse me, our ESL teachers' um, strengths and weaknesses are uh, with their technology uh, skills, we uh, had a look at our um, our SIP, our community, I'm um, oh, sorry, continuous improvement plan, um, teacher assessments, and uh, you know this graph shows blue is weakness over here and adequate is green, so. You know, looking at this, we can kind of have an idea where we can focus our efforts to help train our our staff um, with um, integrating technology into their classes. Next. So in summary, uh, we feel good about where we are with our site plan and where we're going. We have a good idea of um, the next steps. And we look forward to learning more from DLAC next year. And um, we know it will help us um, with the impl implement implementation of our um, site plan. So thank you, everyone.